Hey, hello guys, how are you? So this is the second part of our activity Firebase tutorial series. So in first part, I just explained about how we can install Firebase in our React Native applications, how we can initialize, how we can create project in Firebase console. So in this video, I will create tutorial on authentication using Firebase. So as you can see here, I have a home screen. You can check my previous video part one. So let me create a header here. Let me create design first. Left. Okay. Side back title. React native Firebase tutorials. Yes. Okay. Title is not found. Title. Okay, remove that React Navigation 5 header. So for that, let's go here. Mm, header mode to none initial root name to home. Save it. Okay, that's gone. Now let's create a list inside that list item text or list item. Authentication. Authentication. Okay. So let's create a page for authentication inside that screen named as path dot yes. Just copy this paste here. Delete the header, hmm. or you can name it authentication. Name it as auth screen, and we will create design later. So now go to home again. Now pass navigation here. Navigation. Now on press of that list item navigation dot navigate to auth we need to create that screen port here port off screen it's imported and name it as auth now let me check okay it's going to authentication page on here we need to create a left button like that create a button these components are native base components transparent icon side that create icon name as arrow back right here import from native base import left from native base okay button from native base icon from native base save it okay now you can see on home page sorry remove it from here we need it in our auth page here left right icon button 
save it. Right is already there. Authentication. Okay. Now it's fine. Now on that button, pass navigation side that screen navigation. On press, we need to navigation navigation dot go back. Save it. Back. Okay, it's working. Fine. So now let's create some list items on which I will work in next part of this series. In this video I am going to explain authentication. After this in next part real time database then cloud firestore then cloud storage then add more then push notifications notifications and there is if something like dynamic links I will create that here also for now let's do one by one them all authentication then so on so let's create authentication today so first of all let me create a design for that authentication page here so for that we need to create a button on right side too for our logout functions logout and on press delete on press for now or let me create a function here sign out function const sign out alert sign out okay click on this okay sign out is showing now so let's create content of that page i will create both sign up and sign in form in this page because i want to show you how we can use authentication so design doesn't matter for me here inside form import form from database name it as first sign sign up form comment it inside that form need to create item import from native is floating flavor inside that flavor name it as email address okay then input import input input label okay input keyword type will be email address and close it for now save it okay it's showing there and now copy this item paste again name it as password and move this secure text entry is equal to true on okay now let's create a button after that item tag closed button block text sign up okay created okay so fine so just copy this form again okay for now let's don't copy this now what we have to do we need to create a state 
for email and password values const state set state here use state inside that email address set initial value to blank password to blank now set value is equal to state dot email address same for password just copy this and paste here state dot password okay now on change text we need to set state again for that let's do on change text let me toggle view okay on change text text set state state email address to this text this text now copy this paste here and password to this text okay now let me check by creating function here on press sign up now we need to create that sign up function here const let me alert both state json dot stringy files both are null okay so both are working so now the thing is copy all the form here and paste here name it as sign in form replace that sign in sign up with sign in sign in function now create a sign in function too okay so after that what we have to do is we need to create authentication on which we need to hide and show that logout button so for that let's create a user set user and initialize it with state blank state nothing pass to that state for now so move that a lot for now okay we have three functions here and after that call use effect here and create a new function here on auth state changed whenever user will log in or log out from firebase then this function will automatically triggered so for that that's why i'm creating this inside that pass user as a parameter set user as user now i will call that function here subscriber create a listener here subscriber subscriber auth import auth first import statement from setup auth from this screen mm, from this setup screen i am importing this auth now we can use it in our off screen here 
so auth dot on auth state changed just pass that function we have created on state change this function will be called so user will be null or user will be have some values like user's information if user is login on logout user will return as null so on unmount of this screen return subscribe okay so now this button will be enable if user is not null means user is log on so you can see its logout button is hidden now from right side of the header now check it you can see it's here so we have created that check so now let's create functionality for that just do one thing create new file in root or whatever you want in folder something like that name it as api service dot js in which we will create our methods so import react from react okay now import setup import auth from setup because we already installed that in first part of the series react native firebase auth and i am exporting this and using in other screens so now let's create a function first for sign up user for that sign up user we will pass email and password to that function and then let's create a promise here so we can return value to our auth components so for that return new promise inside that function resolve and reject okay so let's do it so our promise is created so call that function in our screen here mm, sign up okay import that function sign up user from api service you can see it's imported here now pass state dot email address and state dot password because this method requires <coughs> both email and address email address and password so in then we will return data and set catch method here for error if any error there okay so the thing is now go to sign up user here now we need to create a user auth so for that create user with email and password so first of all we can create this only if we have enable sign in sign in methods for now let's create users first 
okay i deleted existing users in sign in method we need to enable this it's already enabled what if it's not enabled then it looks like something like that disabled you need to enable it okay enable you can see inside your project then authentication under that authentication these are user sign in method templates uses inside sign in method tab we need to enable email and password provider so it's enabled now you can use phone authentication and other there are something like twitter github google games google microsoft so whatever you want you can use as per requirements so i will show you how we can login and log out using email and password provider how we can create a new user too so enable so now let's pass that email dot password then snapshot is all sign up success fully okay if it gives error then in catch block reject error reject for error resolve for successfully user created so let me check i am showing alerts there so open this window to in users okay you can see i am refreshing there is no user right now let's go here and create it name it as something like click on sign up is something issue it's going here sign up state sign up function it's calling sign up function here okay sign up user here mm -hmm. then email and password reject error it should show error here if something let me check what it's showing here is this passing parameters to that function email yes yes it's working the email address is badly formatted you can see you can add validations to that text field too so let me create a demo at the rate demo dot com and password one two three four now click on sign up you can see the given password is invalid weak password because it must be at least of six letters one two three four five six sorry six characters letters or whatever you want you want to give means length minimum is of six words sign up successfully okay. sorry i again ask that words length should be six means total length of password minimum length of password is six for firebase credential so user is sign up so let me check in here okay you can see identify and providers is email created sign in and this is the user's unique id so its user is created now so let's copy this function paste here name it as sign in user same we will pass email and password and replace that create user with email and password with sign in 
साइन इन विद ईमेल एंड पासवर्ड जस्ट वन थिंग क्रिएट यूजर विद ईमेल एंड पासवर्ड एंड रिप्लेस इट विद साइन इन विद ईमेल एंड पासवर्ड साइन इन सक्सेसफुली एंड नाउ वन थिंग in close this close this now go to auth just copy whole this here and replace that sign in sign up user function will sign in user import it from api service again now it will show alert now you can check one thing our logout button is showing because user state changed to user user is not null now so this function is doing that whenever users authentication state change it set users to null or users value that's why user have value now that's it's showing because we are doing check here so that's why it's showing here so now let's create sign out before that sign in function we already created sign in function here we will test it later let me create log out first so just copy this sign out user name it as sign out user and sign sign out here and nothing we need to pass inside that and nothing will be here sign out successfully so now we need to call that function in our auth page within sign out function just copy this and paste here remove that parameters because that function not recording any parameters import that sign out what's the name of okay sign out user import that sign out user function here mm, import sign out user function inside from api services so here it is sign out user and save it now click on this you can see sign out successfully and that's logout button is not showing now now let's try try to create that sign up user with the same credentials it will show the email address is already in use why another account because we already have that users in our database so let's try to sign in sign in sign in successfully and you can see that logout button is showing because our user is signed in now so that's why it's showing now it will remain same even we are going back and return to that screen again because user is logged in so let's log, log out okay now it's hidden go back to screen click on authentication you can see it's not there let's try to resign again 123456 was our password sign in it's sign in successfully so let's do why enter some wrong password sign in the password is invalid or the user does not have a password so it's going in our catch block here in a reject error so it's returning alert inside here catch block so i created that separate api services so i think that's a good way so i think that's enough for 
this authentication part for firebase hope you like my video friends i just explained about sign up user sign in user and sign out user how we can create it in firebase authentication we can use some other authentications like phone authentication google games twitter microsoft etc there are several way to authenticate with firebase so friends this is a authentication part of our series of firebase react native tutorial series so in next video i will discuss about this second list item real time database so share the video friends take care friends bye